July uh, 18th, I am Joel Nyongabo, a student in the Bachelors of Communication program with College for America at Southern New Hampshire University. And I am conducting this interview as part of my academic work. I will, I will record this interview and use the information in an article I am writing for a research project. The article and the recorded interview will be submitted to College for America so that my work as an interviewer or writer can be evaluated. This recording will be used solely for this purpose. The interview information will be temporarily stored in the College for America online evaluation system too, which only the evaluator and College for America staff will be assessed. Do you have any question? No, I don't. Okay. Do you give your consent to be interviewed and recorded? Yes. Um, uh, I, Claudette Rasinze, I give my informed consent to participate in this interview to be recorded and used as part of the student's academic evaluation. Okay, thank you, Claude. So I'm going to take you through uh, four different questions and you respond them. Yes, sir. So. Tell me a time when you were not able to access internet for a couple of hours and you were not able to read digital sources of media. What was it like? Uh, thanks for this question. Yeah. Um, there's the time when um, I was uh, at the school campus. Yeah. And then the electricity went off. Yeah. And then, you know, like electricity and internet routers are connected. And then when electricity went off, I was really, by that time I was working on um, like a CFA project. Yeah. And uh, of course I couldn't continue because I was no longer having access to the resources. Yeah. So it was really like uh, a bad experience yeah. because I woke up in the morning when I was committed to work and finish like a project like that I started like uh, uh, some days before, but I couldn't finish it. So it was uh, not a good thing. And I went back home when I was really not feeling good about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Claude. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard that uh, you at the time you were upset because uh, the electricity went off and the lotus had to connect off. Thank you. So another question. How do you feel when you spend time without internet? Um, in fact, I feel disconnected to the whole world. Yeah. Because when I have internet, I'm able to to chat with my loved ones, to to like have different deals with different people. And then if I don't have internet, all those things are cut off. Oh. So that's how I feel. Oh, thank you. I've heard that. Internet makes you connected to people, you chat, mm -hmm. and you, you can as well read news. Yeah. So the third question reads, what do you like about reading newspapers compared to digital sources like Forbes? Um, personally, um, I think uh, it's very, I, I personally think it's more practical to read like, digital sources yeah. like the Forbes. Uh, this is because, uh, like, uh, reading like in like yes, an article yes. online, yeah. uh, it is like very interesting to me because they, those newspapers sometimes have links yeah. to other sources. sources yeah. And if I try to read all of them, I try to get a full and get a full information about what I'm looking for, which is different from the newspapers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, newspapers are not assessed easily. Yeah. Like the online sources. Yeah. Or, Lastly, last but not least, which source of news do you use the most and why? Uh, uh, you mean comparing uh, to uh, online sources mm -hmm. and, and offline, like newspapers? Oh. Yeah. So I personally uh, choose to, to read like digital sources. Yeah. Like this is because they are very easy to access. Yeah. And then you can read like an article online and then you can come back on it whenever you want. But the newspapers, you know, you can buy it and, you know, it gets like torn. Yeah. Or like when it rains, you know, they get 
um, wet destroyed, yeah. and they destroyed. So it's very hard to store them. But for the online uh, newspaper, I mean, the online sources, sources you yeah. can access them whenever you want. Yeah. So that's why I prefer online sources. Uh, the good thing about, uh, I personally, I like the online sources because I access them anytime I'm connected. Mm -hmm. And at at a free cost, exactly. Than going and buy a newspaper, mm -hmm. which is will not last for long. Exactly. Thank you very much, Claude. You're welcome, sir. Yeah.